Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I wanted to do a video all about Valentine's Day gift ideas for him or her. Some of the most popular videos on my channel are my gift guides during the holidays. So this year I would really like to do gift guides for all different holidays, not just around Christmas time. So I figured why not start with Valentine's Day. I know it's maybe not a holiday that everyone participates in. You might not want to get something super expensive and you might not even think about it until a week or two before. So I really wanted to cater this video around those things. There are going to be some like materialistic type things, but also over half the list are things that you can go out and get literally today or make yourself or just be creative with. So I think this is a really good list for really anyone. If you would like for me to continue my gift guides for other holidays, let me know in the comments down below which holidays you would be looking for gifts for. And if you like today's video and you're not already subscribed, please do so down below. It's absolutely free and I would love to have you here on my channel. Without further ado, let's just dive into all of the gift ideas. So we're going to start with the gift ideas for her and everything will be listed and linked down below in the description box. So the very first gift idea that I want to mention is my personal favorite. This is what I recommend everyone do for their partner on Valentine's Day and that is making a little gift basket. I just feel like gift baskets are a lot more personalized than so many other other gifts out there. You can curate it to the person you're buying for, put together a basket of their favorite things. You can do so many different themes with it. You really can get creative with this. So for this video, I actually put together two gift baskets for her and two gift baskets for him. So I will insert some clips of me putting together the gift baskets that I did. The first one that I did for her is just a generic Valentine's Day theme. I did lots of pink items and just super fun and cute girly little Valentine's Day gifts. So I'm starting with a basket from Target and I always put something in the base to kind of hold everything up. I'm just going with a cute little heart blanket from Target. Next we're adding a pink bottle of wine that is not only cute but takes up quite a bit of space and then a Valentine's mug filled with these Lindor strawberry truffles. I think it's always cute to include some sort of book or journal that matches the color theme and then a couple of strawberry candy bars. I'm adding a cute little pink candle and a Valentine's themed face mask. Next up a cute pair of Valentine's Day fuzzy socks and and doing some rearranging just to make sure everything looks okay. And lastly, a pair of cute pink sunglasses to go along with everything. And here's how it turned out. I absolutely love it. I think this is just so Instagrammable and cute. I think any girl would love this. Even if she doesn't like pink, you could do red theme or even her favorite color. And that would be super cute too. And the second one that I did is actually a date night at home gift basket idea. I think this is super fun if you guys don't really want to go out to dinner and get dressed up. It's such a good idea to make your Valentine's Day gift all the things that you would need to have a great night at home. So I'm starting off with a slightly shorter version of the same basket and just adding these Valentine's Day themed pajamas from Amazon. A strawberry dipping kit is perfect for an at home date night as well as this let's get deep questions for couples game. And of course we need some date night snacks so I'm adding popcorn for a savory option and this strawberries and cream trail mix for a sweet option. One tip I have is to use tissue paper or something in the bottom of your basket to prop things up so that you can see everything nice and clear. And I felt like this one was missing something so I went ahead and added a bottle of wine and you might have to do some rearranging just to make sure everything looks nice and organized. And this is how the date night basket turned out. I really like this one as well. You can obviously cater this to what your partner really likes but either way I think this is a really fun idea. So another gift idea would be a necklace. This is like a very generic gift idea. I know jewelry is a huge gift option for Valentine's Day, but I wanted to mention a couple that I would recommend. I would either do something that is like in the shape of a heart or something personalized, like a name necklace if you want her to be able to wear it every day. If you have like an engraving shop near you, you could even go and get one that's like engraved from you. That would be cute. But as far as just purchasing kind of last minute, I love this one from Bobble Bar that has like the crystal on it and it's in the shape of a heart. I believe they also have initials in this style necklace too. Either one would be gorgeous or you can just get a personalized name necklace. There are a lot of them on Amazon that can actually get to you in time for Valentine's Day. So I will link the one that I have down below. I love it. I wear this multiple times a week. It's just such an easy necklace to throw on and as long as they have her name to select from then it should be able to be here in time. Another traditional Valentine's Day gift idea is to send some sort of 
sweet treat or flowers to her, whether that be at work or if you're long distance to her home. So a couple of my favorite ideas for this would be Wicked Good Cupcakes, which is a smaller business. It's something my friends and I have used for years and they actually got their start on Shark Tank and they've really grown since then. But I love this company. It's literally a cupcake in a jar and they have so many cute Valentine's Day options to choose from. You can choose the quantity that you send. Crumble cookies if you live near one would be a great thing to get delivered to her. They are so good, you guys. Another fun food place that I've ordered from before is Milk Bar. They do different cakes and cookies and things like that delivered as well, so you could check into them. As far as flowers, really, I would just go with your local flower service. There are flower subscriptions if you wanted to not only get her flowers for Valentine's Day, but get her flowers once a month. That would be something that's super cool to do. Or if you want to switch it up, instead of flowers, maybe she's not a flower girl, but see if anyone in your area delivers succulents. Succulents are so popular right now. They're so easy to keep alive and they are absolutely gorgeous, especially moving into spring. It just gives your house a little pop of greenery and I think this would be an adorable idea. A new robe or pajama set is always a good gift idea. When I think Valentine's Day, I think cute, cozy, sexy, girly, feminine. So I guess I tend to think more self-care and robes and pajamas are like amazing for self-care. My personal favorite robe at the moment is the one that I got from Be Cozy, Jaclyn Hill's brand. This thing is amazing. I really, really love it. That one is like nice and plush and fluffy. If she's the kind of girly that's like always hot though, I would go with a Skims robe. My husband got me one of these for Christmas a couple years ago and I love it in the mornings in the springtime when I'm super hot. It's nice to get ready in. I don't overheat in it. It's super thin, but it's very comfortable. For pajamas, I really, really, really recommend this set from Show Me Your Moo Moo. These are adorable. Like, oh my gosh, the cutest Valentine's pajamas that I've ever seen. If you want something that you can go out and get right away, Victoria's Secret Pink always has some really cute Valentine's Day options. And I know most people live near a Victoria's Secret Pink. I know I live in a smaller town and we have one in our mall. So I'm sure a lot of you guys do as well. If you are doing this idea though, and you are trying to do like a self care moment, I would definitely go for comfy, cute pajamas and not lean too far into the lingerie side. That's just my personal opinion. I think lingerie is more of a gift for the guy personally, but you know, if you know she's gonna love that, then go for it. But if you're not really sure, then I would say steer on the side of caution and don't do that. If she wants to wear lingerie on Valentine's Day, I feel like that's something that a lot of girls would pick out and get for themselves. Or you could get it as a side gift, but I would definitely get her something else aside from lingerie. Or maybe even just bring it up and say, hey, I'm gonna get you something else, but this would be a fun idea and I wanna pick you out something or we could pick it out together or whatever. So that's up to you, but that's kind of how I would navigate the lingerie topic because I know that is always a big thing that a lot of men probably want to get their wives or girlfriends, but it's not always as great of an idea as you think it is. Moving on to something cute and sentimental. I really like these What I Love About You books that you can get on Amazon. This is like a great little gift that you can add on to another gift or if you guys don't do Valentine's Day, but you still wanna surprise her and do something small and cute, then this is a great option. There's this one that is kind of smaller and it's more of like a fill in the blank cutesy kind of thing. And the other one is kind of a more aesthetic journal. It's still prompted so you don't have to think too long and hard about it. The book will guide you to fill in answers about your partner and I think this is just such a cute gift, especially if you are a man. I feel like a lot of women don't really expect super cutesy and sentimental things. So I think she would really be surprised by this and just absolutely love it. If you guys do actual like materialistic type gifts like you do for other holidays, a couple that I think would be a good idea for her would be any kind of new hair tool that she doesn't already have, maybe a new curling iron. If she's really into beauty and TikTok and stuff, I think a pair of like hot rollers or even the Velcro rollers would be cool. Or if you really wanna go all out, the Dyson Air Wrap, which I know is like crazy expensive, especially for Valentine's Day, but you could get the shark version, which is kind of like the Dyson dupe. That would be a really good idea for a new hair tool. Or you could just go with a new curling iron. To get my curls that I have today, I've really been loving a skinnier clamp curling iron. The one that I use is from Donabella and I do actually have a code with them if you guys are interested in using that. It's just a simple curling iron, but the way I do it is like I kind of do like straight curls and then it just kind of creates beachy waves. I also like this Bioionic Flatter Curling Iron. I think that's good for a nice beachy wave look. Also in the beauty category, there are so many adorable makeup launches around this time of year. So you could put together 
together a cute little makeup gift idea and she would be on cloud nine if she is a makeup lover. I really like this set from Laneige. It's just a sleeping lip mask set, so it's gonna make her lips really nice and soft. And it comes with a full size lip mask in the scent Berry and then a smaller one in Chocolate. So you could get her that and maybe add on a cute eyeshadow palette. Natasha Denona came out with a really cute pink themed palette that I think would go perfectly with this. Pat McGrath released an entire love collection that is just so adorable. They have three different eyeshadow palettes, multiple lip colors, a couple blushes, I believe, maybe even some highlighters in there. So anything from that collection, I'm sure she would love. Pat McGrath is like, ugh amazing. If you want something super affordable, ColourPop came out with these adorable blushes that are in the shape of a heart. And I believe Too Faced also just came out with a Pinker Times Ahead collection. They have a really cute pink themed palette and a couple blushes as well. Another good beauty gift idea that is definitely a more traditional gift is a bottle of perfume. I love perfume. I think it is such a luxurious gift. So it's something that I would love to receive. I think a lot of women would, especially if they wear perfume on a daily basis. If you just want my recommendation, and want to get a full-size bottle, I really recommend the Daisy Love perfume. It's what I'm wearing today. It's very feminine. It's great for Valentine's Day. It's kind of a sweeter scent, but it does have that floral aspect in there as well, but it's not overwhelmingly floral at all. If you're really not sure what she would like, I would recommend getting one of these Sephora perfume sampler sets. With these, she can test out all of the perfumes included, and they usually come with a card that she can use to redeem for a full size of her favorite one in the sampler. So I will link a couple of those down below with kind of a description of like what the theme of the perfume sampler is. Another cutesy idea that any girl would like fall in love with is if you were to go out, buy her an outfit, plan a date, and surprise her with like a whole fun night. That would just be incredible. I think that's like any girl's dream. I know not everyone is like the best at picking out clothes for their partner, so I would recommend just keep it simple. If you go out somewhere to buy her an outfit, I would do maybe like a little black dress, maybe get some like red earrings to go with it. Any gold necklace would look perfect with that outfit. And if you're doing shoes too, you do like a pair of low black strappy heels. I can even link some options for an outfit down below if you like have no clue where to start from a couple places that I know could get it to you in time. But that would be adorable if she like gets home from work and you have the outfit laid out, write a cute little note, let her know about a dinner reservation or something like that. Iconic gift idea. If you really wanted to go all out, you could actually box up the outfit and deliver it to her work. That would be just like so much fun. This next idea is from Etsy, so I'm not sure if it would get here in time, but I loved this little personalized song plaque that's actually in a shadow box with the roses behind it. I think that is so beautiful, and this would be perfect for your first dance song, or if you're just dating, you could do the plaque of your song as a couple. That would be so precious. Speaking of roses, if you love the idea of getting roses and flowers, and stuff like that. But if you're one of those people that feel like they are a total waste of money, then maybe the roses that never die might be a good option for you. You can get these at a lot of really bougie places for very expensive prices, or you can actually just get them on Amazon now, which is really cool. So basically they are preserved roses that you can get in a variety of different boxes. They have round ones, square ones, larger arrangements, smaller arrangements. So I will link several down below, but I think this is such a cute gift idea instead of getting getting traditional flowers. She can use this as decor in her apartment, her house, her office, wherever, and they last up to a year, I believe, some of them even longer. You know I have to recommend my Stanley Cup. These things are all the rage right now, and any girl that is online at all on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, I'm sure she's heard of a Stanley Cup, and I'm sure she would not be mad about getting one. These things are awesome. They fit in all your cup holders. They keep your ice and your drink nice and cold all day long. They have a strong on it. The new 2.0 versions don't spill when they tip over either. I love the handle and these come in a ton of different colors. So you can get one that you know she will love and this will be something that she uses every single day. If she's like a super sentimental girly and loves taking photos of everything, a Polaroid camera would be a cute idea. Or if you guys just had kids recently, I think Polaroid cameras are great when you have kids because you could take pictures on special occasions and tape them in a journal and write about the day or something like that. Or she could create a little Polaroid string where she hangs the Polaroids up as decoration in your kid's bedroom. Lots of ideas for a Polaroid camera, but these are just super fun and cute to have. And they come in really fun and cute colors too. I have a pink one and I think that would be like such a cute gift for Valentine's Day. Another like materialistic
minimalistic type gift would be some kind of like new technology. I always recommend my Kindle. I love my Kindle and I just think it is such a good gift idea for any holiday. I have the Kindle Oasis and then I have this glittery little cover on it from Amazon. But this is just an e-reader so if she reads books a lot I guarantee you she would love to have a Kindle even if she's more of like a traditional book reader. I was definitely a traditional book girl. I liked holding the book in my hand but this just makes it so much easier. I don't have to store a bunch of books and I can read literally wherever. So yeah, I just have all my books right here. It's waterproof. It feels and looks like actual paper when you're reading it. Another option would be a new pair of AirPods. I love my AirPods. They're so convenient and seriously some of the best sound quality headphones that I've ever tried. Once again, an Etsy gift that I'm not sure we'll get here in time, but I thought this was so pretty. It's like an acrylic sign. It's a picture of like the world map and it has your names on it and it lights up. This would be adorable for a long distance. There's also one that I saw that's just in the shape of a heart that has your names on it and it lights up. Would be so cute on her nightstand and it will just remind her of you all the time. If you are looking for a super easy gift idea that she will probably hang on to forever and it'll cost you barely anything and you can go out to your local Walmart and get it right now, the day of, the day before, whatever, then this is the gift idea for you. So these are the 52 Reasons Why I Love You deck of cards. So my husband actually made me these when we were dating probably when I was in college or maybe even high school. I actually want to say this was like senior year of high school, but I still have them 10 years later and I think they are so cute. So what my husband did is punch two holes in each of the cards and then he got these little key rings so that I can flip through it like a book. You could also just get one key ring and punch a hole at the top corner of each of the cards and then he got like construction paper and glued it onto the cards, but you could also just write on them directly with Sharpie if you wanted to. So yeah, really simple and easy and it is so freaking cute to sit there and read 52 reasons why someone loves you and it doesn't have to be like long and drawn out like some of them that he put on here were like your smile you trust me he put how your hair smells like cotton candy sometimes how family oriented you are so they don't have to be like super crazy deep things on every single one like you can kind of switch it up and get creative and unique with it and I just think that is a precious gift idea if she is a coffee lover and you want to spoil her for Valentine's Day you can't go wrong with getting her a new coffee machine a Keurig an espresso whatever it is the mini Keurigs would be great if she's allowed to have one in her office that would be a cool gift and you can get these in a lot of different colors if you have a slightly bigger budget the Nespresso Virtuo machine is a great option and you can even get one with the milk frother on the side so she could make cappuccinos and lattes if you guys just plan to go out to dinner and that's pretty much it but you want to do something a little bit special to kind of surprise her even if it's something small you could buy a bottle of wine for you guys to take to the restaurant and share and then get one of these cute labels that you can stick on the wine bottle to make it look custom. They have so many cute ones on Etsy, but unfortunately a lot of those I don't think would get to you in time. I did find a couple sets on Amazon and they're pretty affordable, but they do come with like an absurd amount of stickers. You might not need all of them, but if you're willing to pay six bucks for just one label, then why not? They kind of say like naughty things and these are more kind of geared towards like being for a man because some of them say things about like his genitalia, but if you're a man buying this for your wife or girlfriend, they also have one that just says, I love you. And I think that would be really cute to bring. And lastly for her, if you really want to treat her, I think a full spa day would be just like a perfect gift. What girl doesn't want a day where she can escape all of her responsibilities and just go hang out at the spa? You could just do a massage, but I think even better would be like a massage and a facial. I mean, I know I'm getting bougie here, but truly that would be like just the best experience ever where you have a full day at the spa, getting a massage, getting a facial right after. It's just total relaxation mode. And you really can't top that unless if you really want to top it, get an additional pass for her to take a friend. That would just be, oh my gosh, the best day ever. So now let's dive into all of the gifts for men. So once again, we're starting off with gift baskets. You already heard my spiel on gift baskets. I think they're a great gift idea and they work well for men too. So for the first basket for men, I just did a generic Valentine's Day theme. Nothing too out there or Valentine's Day specific like we did for the women's version, but still just like a lot of cute random goodies in here. 
So for this one, we're going to start with a pair of joggers to kind of use as the base. Then I rolled up a t-shirt from Target, Hydro Flask coffee mug, some skincare products in here. I'm going to throw some Reese's chocolate in there and a bottle of cologne. Another little golf ball chocolate thing from Target. And I thought this didn't look complete, so I put a glass in there and stuffed it with truffles as well. And then for the second one, I just did another at-home date night basket. This would be great for women or men either way. For the date night basket, we are using the same joggers and t-shirt, but we're rolling them up. I'm also going to add a bottle of wine in the same Let's Get Deep couples game. Of course, we're going to add some popcorn, also adding the football Reese's container. Once again, prop things up with stuff underneath them. You might have to do some rearranging just so it all looks cohesive. And I thought something was missing, so I just added the chocolate golf balls to that open slot and here is how everything turned out. I think any guy would love this and you guys would have everything you need to have an amazing date night right at home and you don't have to spend a ton of money or do a lot of planning. It's just super easy, really cute and would be really fun. Another gift idea for men that would also kind of go along with the at home date night would be Valentine's Jenga. So this would be super easy for you to get. Just go out to Walmart, buy a normal Jenga game and then get a Sharpie and write on the Jenga piece Pieces, either a dare or a question for either of you to answer. That would be so much fun. You can find lots of different ideas for what to put on them on Pinterest. I'll try to link an article that has some ideas down below. This watch set from Target I think is incredible. This looks so high class for the price. I mean, it's literally from Target, but it looks like you have like three really nice watches. The bands are interchangeable and this would go with so many different outfits. So you cannot go wrong with this if you want to get him like a nicer piece of jewelry or a nice watch or something like that, but you don't want to break the bank. I absolutely love this set. Similarly to the perfume for women, I always think a nice cologne is great for your man, especially because it's nice when you pick it out because it's something you are really excited to have them wear because you like the scent and you can smell it on them. And I know with my husband, like he's not super picky, like anything that I pick out and like, he's probably going to like too. So honestly, I've been the one to buy him a lot of his colognes because he would just rather me pick it out so I like it. So I would just recommend going into Ulta, smelling around, seeing which one is your favorite. Or if you want him to choose, you could also do a Sephora cologne sampler. Same thing as the perfume sampler. He will get a card that he can then redeem for his favorite cologne and the sampler. So I showed you guys the really cute sentimental gift that my husband got me. And now I'm going to show you the really sentimental gift that I got my husband when we were dating. So I actually made him a scrapbook. And once again, 10 years later, we still have in our house and it is seriously one of the most fun things to look back on. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this idea. I think it is so cute and it is one of the best gifts that I ever gave. And it's funny because it says live, laugh, love on it, which I would have never picked this out now. I don't know. It's funny looking back on. I will flip through this and put in a video here, but you can get tons of scrapbooking page ideas from Pinterest if you have never scrapbooked before and you don't even know where to start. But it was super fun for me to do. I just printed out a bunch of pictures from CVS and then found ideas on Pinterest. I went to Michael's and got a lot of scrapbooking supplies. It doesn't have to be super elaborate, but I think it's also super fun to do. If you're a crafty person, then you would probably enjoy doing it. And like I said, this is one of the things that we will get out for years and years and years to come and look at the pictures of us together and read the cute things that I wrote. And it's something that we can even show our kids one day. So if you want to be super sentimental, then a scrapbook is absolutely the way to go. I always think the adventure challenge is a great Valentine's Day gift idea for either him or her. It's basically a book of 50 date ideas that are going to be unique and something that you've probably never done before. It gives you little hints before you scratch it off about the cost or what supplies you will need and stuff like that. And if you're okay with all of that, then you scratch it off and start that date right there. As the name suggests, it's super adventurous, very unique and creative. And if you guys are wanting to implement weekly date nights, but you never know what to do, then this is a great gift idea because it really takes the guesswork out of everything. And if you want to get a little spicy, they also have the adventure challenge for couples in bed. So you could do that as well. I think for a lot of men, they would probably really like that one too. A nice shave kit is a very generic gift idea, but I think this is always a really safe option. Most men have to shave something on their face and it's something that they do every day and will probably do for the rest of their life. So anything that makes that easier or more luxurious feeling is always a great 
cute gift idea. So I will link a couple different options and different price points down below. A kind of sexy gift idea for your man would be to buy lingerie and leave a note with it. And then you guys go out to dinner or whatever and he knows that that's kind of waiting when you get back. As I said in the for her section, I personally think that lingerie is a good gift for a man coming from the woman. Just because even though it is like kind of for both people, like a lot of times it's for your man, you know? You're dressing up for your man. So getting like a sexy piece that you feel really confident and comfortable in and then gifting it to him, especially if lingerie isn't something you wear often, I think that he would be really pleasantly surprised by this. One gift theme that I absolutely love for men is the five senses gift. This this one is really, really thoughtful. It does take a little bit more effort, but if you really wanna show your partner how much you care, then this is the perfect way to do it. So basically you just get a gift that goes along with each of the five senses. So for smell, you could do a candle, you could buy him a cologne, a nice manly soap, lotion or beard oil. You don't have to go super crazy expensive for every single sense because that would get pretty pricey. But even if you just did like a little sample size from Bath and Body Works or something, you could do that. For touch, you could do a pair of nice socks or you could include a massage oil to be used later or you could just gift him a massage as well. If he likes cozy type stuff you could include a blanket or a robe. For here you could make him a playlist of all of your favorite songs or maybe like a romantic playlist that you could play during your at home date night. You could get him a speaker or tickets to live music or just take him to a local place that's playing live music that night. And for sight you could do tickets to a movie or a show near you. Laundry would also be a good gift for sight because he will get to see you in that. Or you could do a nice photo of the two of you together for him to take and put in his office or you and your kids, anything like that. A couple more materialistic type gifts. I think a nice pair of tennis shoes is always a good gift idea for any man. I know my husband loves new shoes. That's just like his thing and I feel like a lot of men, that's just what they're into as far as fashion. I got my husband Nike Air Force Ones for Christmas and he has went on and on about how much he loves them. I got the white ones with the black Nike check and they go with everything. They look super great and they are the best quality. So I highly suggest those or really any shoes that you know your partner is into. A nice speaker is always something I suggest, specifically the JBL clip speaker. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this a lot, but I love it. I have one of my own in pink and I got my husband one in black for Christmas. They're just awesome. You can take them anywhere. If he goes golfing or plays basketball with his friends, goes fishing, anything like that he can take this with him and clip it to literally any surface a cooler an umbrella a golf bag literally his jeans I mean you can clip these anywhere and it plays music the sound quality is amazing I really did not expect the sound quality to be as good on this small of a speaker but it really is phenomenal and these are pretty affordable too to get a nice quality speaker for I believe anywhere from like 50 to 80 bucks is not bad in my opinion or if he is into coffee and he takes coffee to the office or something like that a temperature controlled mug is a good idea. Specifically the ones from Ember, I've heard amazing things about. So they have the traditional coffee mug that has a handle and it's self warming. So it's gonna keep his coffee hot for a really long time. They also have the Ember travel mugs. If he does take his coffee on the go, then that might be a better option. If he is a beer drinker, one thing that I did for my husband when he was in college was make him a beer cake. I think I just cut out a large circle from poster board for the bottom. I put a bunch of beers on the bottom bottom and then put a ribbon around it and hot glued it to secure them. You make a smaller circle for the center. Once again, beers, ribbon, and then the last layer, another smaller circle, you know, three beers or something on the top. Put a bow on it or something. And this is a cute gift idea. Any guy that drinks a lot of beer would love this because they might not always want sweets and stuff like that for Valentine's Day. But I do not know a guy who likes beer who would not love a beer cake for Valentine's Day. A really cute and kind of fun Funny gift idea would be a pair of boxers with your face on it. These are something you're gonna have to check the delivery date because I'm not sure how fast they could get to you, but there's a couple retailers online that I will link down below and this would just be a hilarious gift idea. I mean, imagine his face when he opens this pair of boxers and it's literally your face. So that's super funny. You just upload your photo and you can choose all different sizes and colors and things like that. Another super cute sentimental gift that I actually did for my husband back in the day when we were dating is the open windlass 
letters. So this is a super easy gift idea. You literally just need paper and envelopes and you can do however many of them you want. I think I did maybe like 15 letters and on the outside of the envelope you say open when dot 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 you're having a bad day. Open when you accomplish something big. Open when we have our first baby. Open when we get married or whatever it is. You can just kind of create your own. Once again, lots of ideas on Pinterest and you basically just write a letter to go along with that theme. So if he is having a bad day, what would you say to him to cheer him up? Once again, a great option for long distance. My husband and I were long distance for six years. So we always did stuff like this to just kind of remind each other that we do care and stuff like that. And it's very, very helpful. If he's a golfer, you literally cannot go wrong with just getting him a round of golf. I know a lot of the men in my family are golfers and they would all just love this. That would be their ideal Valentine's Day gift is just let me play a round of golf. And even better if you're gonna buy it for me. So absolutely perfect and really, really easy gift idea. This engraved wallet is another Etsy find. So once again, be sure to check the delivery date because I'm not sure if it'll get here in time. But I think this is so nice. It's something that he will use every single day. The engraving can remind him of you and your kids if you choose to put them on it. And it's also just like a really nice gift to give. I mean, what guy doesn't want a nice new wallet? And one that's personalized is even better. Another sexy gift idea if you're into that kind of thing. Take some boudoir photos, you guys. A lot of photographers are starting to specialize in boudoir photos. If you don't know what they are, it's basically a photo shoot of you wearing sexy lingerie or doing sexy poses, something like that, that'll only be gifted to your husband. Of course, if you want to post them, then you absolutely can, but a lot of people just do it as a gift for their husband. This is another thing that you can find so many ideas for over on Pinterest, but it doesn't just have to be traditional lingerie either. I've seen so many girls get very unique with this. If your husband is really into a certain football team, you could wear a jersey or have a helmet or have a football, like something like that. That goes for any sport or any hobby that they have. But I don't know a single man who would not absolutely love to receive this from his wife. So I think you can't go wrong with this idea. And I know it might be a little bit late to schedule a photographer and do all of that. So just try to take them yourself, you guys. And I'm not talking nudes here. I'm talking like classy, nice, sexy photos, but just get a phone tripod or have one of your best friends take them. You guys could swap and do them for each other. If you're doing like a baseball theme, get a baseball jersey, unbutton it a little bit with like a nice sexy bra underneath, hold the baseball, have your friend take a photo like in front of a nice blank wall or on your bed or something like that. And then you could print out some wallet size photos or get a little book made on CVS, Walmart or Shutterfly, something like that. And the last gift idea that I have is kind of similar to the adventure challenge, but something that you can make yourself. So if you have a very low budget, you don't want to spend money on something like that, then you can actually just do this yourself. Just get a little box or jar of some kind and get like a bunch of strips of paper. If you're doing like a weekly date night, cut out 52 strips and write a date idea on them. You can find so many date ideas for this on Pinterest or just pick some of your favorite dates that you guys have been on, some things that you've never tried or some things that you know he would love to do. Write each one on a piece of paper, fold it up, put it in the jar and throughout the entire year, you guys can dip into it when you don't know what to do and easily you have a date night and once again it takes the guesswork out of everything. It also keeps your relationship fun and exciting. So those are all of my gift ideas for him and her. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really love making videos like this you guys. Like gift ideas are just my jam. I love it. I think it's so fun thinking about what people might like or what is a cute and interesting unique idea. So if you guys enjoy these videos I would absolutely love to do them for Mother's Day. Father's Day or any other holidays that you guys suggest. If you would like to see that, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss any future videos like that. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate all of your support and I hope that you stick around. And if you do, I will talk to you very soon in my next video. Bye.